Hey, you guys, this program has been voluntarily rated PG-13 for pretty gross. And the thing is for... Okay, here we go, here we go. Hello Wolf Demo, starring The Incredible Pete. Okay, so, let's fire this up. This is two levels, and we don't have a, a story here. I don't think we do. I think it's all in the... Yeah, it's, it's in the uh, text file that comes with the download. All right, so let's fire this up. Uh, we have uh, Scared Stupid. Oh, those eyes, they make me think of friggin' uh, Pee-wee's Big Adventure with uh, Large Marge. Halloweeny, bold and zesty, and incredible, because we're incredible. So, Nightmare on Oak. So right away, we have um, a very nice Halloweeny feel. Um, looks like our little trick-or-treating outing has been interrupted. And uh, we're going to go... Yeah, I don't really know the story behind this. I don't think it makes a whole lot of sense anyways, but... Uh, so right off the bat, we've got friggin' goblin guys coming for us. I don't know if that's what they are or not. Uh, wow, that guy just, like, shuffled his way in there. So, right away, yeah, we've got a large, somewhat large number of guys coming for us here. So I like to lead them over here. I like to lead them on, you know? That's the way I roll. Uh, leading the goblins on. We'll just go uh, kill a few more. Yeah, we, we've really uh, thinned out the herd here. All right, good. I don't think there's any more for now. Let's go inside this building, and we'll get a new weapon. Uh, and here we find the shotgun. Okay, now I have a few criticisms with this game. It's not an overall bad demo, but... Um, Shotguns in Wolf 3D mods. I have a love-hate relationship with them. Um, I, I, quite honestly, I prefer n not to see shotguns in Wolf 3D mods. I've seen them being used in plenty of, of mods, and they very rarely work. Um, in the Haunted House demo, it worked. Whoops. Because they weren't, it wasn't slow. It was a pump action, you know, it, you shot and then he just pumped it and then he shot again. Watch how slow this one is. See, and then he takes, has to reload like that. Now, against one guy, that's not really a big deal. But when you've got hordes of guys coming for you, um, it's, it's pretty annoying. We have a pitchfork for up close and personal events like that. Maybe it's because I'm just so used to seeing uh, friggin' um, automatic weapons instead of things like shotguns. But aside from being slow like this, I don't know. It just doesn't look natural to me being in uh, in this kind of a screen. But, I don't know, it's just my opinion. Um, they do work sometimes. Like I said, in, in Haunted House Demo, it did work. I liked the shotgun in that one. These blobs. The blobs are a pain, and we go in here, and we find a gremlin. The gremlin carries, uh, I don't know, some kind of a submachine gun. And for some reason, it makes you wonder, why doesn't he drop the submachine gun? You know, it's like, he's got it, so why can't I? And poor little Cosmo right here, Cosmo's Cosmic Adventure. Uh, that, that was an old DOS game, very fun. There's a pork chop right there. I'm, I'm guessing that's what you would call it, since that's the same thing you would see in Castlevania. Let's keep on cruising down this way, and we'll go kill him. And we got Chucky. There you are. Go in here, and we've got um, the pumpkin key, I guess you'd call it. I don't know. <laughs> Anyways, we'll go uh, get the ammo there. There's nothing in here, just some puddles of blood. And uh, did I get the pork chop? I, I just want to run back and grab it if I didn't. Friggin' blobs. Yeah, they keep coming back to life, so, uh, you know, they're just... They're that irritating enemy. The 
you'd really rather not have pestering you. Okay, we got one more little goblin dude over there. Grab his shells right there. Some beer cans, like, yeah. And, um... In this next area, it can be a little tricky in this area, because... The enemies, uh, they're all hidden. They're hiding behind these friggin' trees. Where, where is everybody? Anyways, usually they're all, like, pouring out at me like, uh... Crazy, like, come on, let's kill that friggin' gremlin down the end. You'll notice that the... Oh, there goes one gremlin. There's a bunch of gremlins that are gonna come for us. These blobs... I like to bring them in... And try to just, like, just lock them in, because blobs can't open doors. Come on, where are you? There he is, there he is. Okay, we got gotcha. you. Friggin' gremlins. Die quick. I also don't want to be cornered back here either. Whoop. Sometimes, yeah, you, you just have to uh, spray and pray, as they say, you know? There he is, there he is. on, die. He's going into an area there's is absolutely nothing in there, just a smelly toilet. There we go. So we just attracted some more Chuckies. Yeah, this is a pretty challenging mod, I gotta say. It, it's... Is it challenging for the right reasons? Yes and no. Um, sometimes I think the, uh, the layout of this is a little cheaply made. Like, it's just... It's made to just corner you and, uh, you know, you, you have no choice but to let the blobs get you. Frickin' Chucky. I'd be better off just running in there. Taking them head on like that. As long as the gremlin isn't in here. I think I killed all the gremlins that are going to be... ...around. Okay, so over here we find this, these two kids here. We can pick up this kid. I guess, uh... I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, with this blob, I actually, I like to grab both blobs if I can. Oh yeah, the other blob's still locked away back there. Yeah. I grab this blob and bring him this way. The reason I like to bring this blob this way is because... Um... What I'm going to do is, is bring him over here, and he'll just stay in this area. Because as we all know, the AI is just... Well, it's stupid, and they don't know how to navigate through stuff, and... He'll just stay over here while I fight the boss. Come on over. Come on over. I could probably just leave him here and he wouldn't bug me, but... I like to just bring him as far away from my area as possible. Alright, let's go. I don't think he'll be pestering me anymore. Okay, so when we go in here... Oop, let me just grab that. That guy. And then we open up this door. And here's the boss, and he's got a couple of gremlins with him. Get rid of them quickly. Now this is where the shotgun is somewhat useful. Uh, it's, it's, you know, it's nice and strong. Um, just make sure all your hits are nice and direct. Because, uh, for one thing, you don't want your shell to be wasted. But another thing, it's, it's just, you know, uh, it's just a slow weapon. You, you just, uh... You don't want to be wasting more time than you really have to. So we'll jump into here. Some food. And a more powerful shotgun. We've got our super shotgun, or rather double barrel shotgun. There he is. The speed 
of this shotgun is really no slower than the normal one, as you can see there. That blob's not getting me, is he? Nah, he's, he's lost and gone forever. I really like to bring him up, up close to me, and uh, so that this, these shells are more effective. But uh, this does just fine. I just think an automatic weapon would have been better, as opposed, you know, and, and keep the double barrel shotgun. And not to mention, I mean, why did it? Why did this one have to be? that kind of reloading. Why couldn't it have been a pump action, uh, you know? Or like the kind that, uh, friggin', I don't know what the name of it is, but, you know, Arnold Schwarzenegger was using it in Terminator 2. The one where the, the caulking mechanism is underneath. And he, like, it flips. I think this guy just, yeah, there he is. There we go, he's all done. See, it's not hard, it's just... You know, one of those guys. Okay, and um, I'm gonna go this way, and we'll go in here. There's usually a goblin guy running around. Maybe I got him already. Yeah, I guess I got him. All right, open up, and we have ourselves a gremlin. We have a few gremlins in here. Come on over. I just pull them out one at a time. Okay. Uh-oh, we got two of them. Not too bad, though. Although maybe a um, an automatic weapon would have made this too easy. And that should do it for gremlins. Now, I can't find 100% treasure. Unfortunately, I'm not sure why. I'm not sure where that last treasure is. Uh, but, um... May as well drink some beer. Never waste beer. That's what I always say. Oh, there's the blobbers. Let's go quick, 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 quick. Okay. Lock you guys in there. Yeah, stay in there. Just run over here and grab the one up. Oh, yeah. Gotta push the wall first. There we go. Alright, let's get out of here. Into the next level we go. And why the heck am I an old guy in that big picture and uh, I'm a youngster in the bottom picture? I don't know, guys. And here we go with level two. This is uh, the second and last level of this mod of this demo, rather. Uh, uh, either term, I guess, will work. But, um... Anyways, this level is not that difficult. It's just annoying because of these blobs. They're the only things that'll wreck your day. That's, you know... There is a pork shop down the end here. What I like to do first is I lead these blobs down this way. I try to gather up as many as I can. But usually it's three. Yeah, here comes another one. Come on up here. Friggin' things. There's a boss is over in that direction. Get out here, you icky thing. Don't go that way, you stupid little thing. Get out here. Hey, stupid, get over here. Ah, he's a dope. Okay, well, you know what? Oh, here he comes. Let's give him another chance here. He's just a, a slow, slow little guy. You know, you gotta just kind of have patience with him. Get over here. Come on. Come on. There we go. Get down here. Hopefully, these things will stay in this area. That is... That is the hope. Uh, that way they do not pester me while I go over there. And I'm fighting the boss. They're, oh, crap. This friggin' guy. Okay, go, go, go. Oh, one more, one more. Let's see if I can lead this guy over here, too. 
Yeah, I think that's five of them. One, two, three, four, five, yeah. Come on down. Okay, get them as far down as I can. And knock them down and go. Move, okay, go, let's kill this guy. Kiss you, no thanks. Friggin', um, I forgot his name. I think it's like Pennywise or something. Pennywise the Clown from friggin' It. Hmm. He doesn't take that many hits, but he's, he's just annoying. Um, his projectiles are not that difficult to avoid unless he gets stuck on the wall like I just did. And it's funny too, because sometimes uh, he he gets uh, he just kind of stands there. I just don't want a blob to sneak up on because they do work their way around. I mean, they are. Yeah, okay. Looks like they're gonna be stuck over there, which is good. Whoa, hey! I don't remember Pennywise shooting uh, friggin' yellow blasts, but maybe he did. I would have liked to have heard him say, we all float. That would have been nice. Whoa, dude. All right. And that is the end of Pennywise the Dork. No secrets, no treasure. This concludes your demo of Hello Wolf 2011. Look for the full version in the upcoming year. Who knows? Maybe. I mean, this was released, I think, the day after Halloween. So, uh, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. We'll see you guys.